Hey loud, so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be of course a makeup tutorial. As you guys can see I got a new background going on. Something purple and glittery. Yes, purple and glittery. Okay. So the hair that I'm wearing is actually a wig that I made a while ago and I think it was either Isis hair, I think. I'm not really sure, I can't remember. But I never did a video on it. They just sent me the hair and yeah, I decided to keep it and I made a wig out of it. There's no closure. It is a closure, but it's one of those little round closures that go in the middle. So this was like basically my first full wig that I ever made and it is virgin Peruvian hair and I did chop it up a lot just to give it like this wild look and I actually do really like it. So yes, that is the hair that I'm wearing so I don't have a video on that unfortunately. So the look that I'm going for today is a new line or some new cosmetics from Iman Cosmetics and I did do a video a couple weeks ago featuring them so this time around I do have their BB cream and two different colors this is their skin tone evener I do have the clay medium and the clay medium deep as well as that full bronzers that I'm going to also be showcasing the afterglow really really pretty as you can see it has three different colors peachy wineish and of course a bronzy color there is a mirror and which is where you would keep your sponge applicator if you decided to use it I'm also going to be using their blush which is also a very pretty kind of bronzy coralish color and this is in the color sunlit copper which is absolutely gorgeous I love colors like this this is what I would basically use also I'm going to be using some of their lipsticks their lip liner I'm also going to be showcasing the Terry Hyaluronic Hydra powder which is basically a setting powder now if you want to ask me how I feel about this I'm on the fan the fence about this a little bit it's it's okay but it's not one of my favorite because to me it kind of transfers off as white um, I do see that on camera that is kind of like a white transfer so this is not one of my favorite setting powders it does retail for $60 it kind of has like a talc um, fragrance powder scent to it which I'm really really not crazy about because I don't like my makeup to have like a powdery or a fragrance scent to it um, it does have a smooth texture but as far as me using it on a daily basis I probably would not use this all the time because of the white um, flash that it kind of gives when taking a picture or on video and you'll probably see me doing that and I kind of really really have to blend it in so with this I'm not going to necessarily say bake it all depends on your skin complexion as well so for me I'm more or less like a fair color and this really didn't work out that great for me but you will see me using that in the video along with that there are some other products and this video is going to be sponsored some of it is going to be sponsored by Oxley where you can get free products makeup cosmetics hair tools and such I'll post your link below and you can check that out to get some free products um, as well as there's a lot of drugstore brand makeup so stay tuned for the video I hope you guys enjoy and as always stay deep and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and share this video with friends and family and even people you don't like so enjoy I hope you guys like the video. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Hey love, so yes, it's time for a makeup look video. So the first thing I'm going to use is one of my faves, which is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It really doesn't give you any pop of color, but it will adhere your shadows, so make sure that you use an eyeshadow primer or some type of base. So to even out my eyelids, I like to use the Iman Luminous Press Powder. And I like this because it is a pressed powder. It also evens out my skin tone. But ladies, it will give me like some transition color for my eyeshadow. That really ain't no eyeshadow. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow too. Through the so this is an oldie but goodie, and it's the Sasha eyeshadow, and it's the color skin. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to place that underneath my eyebrows so I can highlight them. And they, it is like a matte eyeshadow, which is great because I don't really like frosty or shimmer eyeshadow underneath my brows. Not at all. And one of my favorite palettes is the go-to palette by NYX, so I like to go to that palette all the time. I'm not really sure why I put this color on top of this because you really could not see it. So just go along with me for this portion or like the next few minutes of this video because trust and believe, ladies, it will come together. But anyway, 
I love the eyeshadow palette because it has a contour, it has a blush, it has a highlight. That highlight is like on fleek. It will have you like glowing to Mars, baby. And then it's got like six or eight eyeshadows. I can't really remember, but I love it. It's like $15 and there's two of them in the collection. So yes, if you are ever at Ulta, pick it up because ladies, oh my God. OMG, I love the palette, especially for the highlight. Like, you would not really think that the highlight was like that, but trust me, that highlight will have you like, OMG, put on your shades, okay? Put on your shades. So, yeah, I took that plumish color and I said, okay, April, just deepen it in a little bit because you put some browns up there that was not really going. Honestly, I just kind of like threw this look together. I really wanted to like, do something neutral but I didn't have anything in particular in mind and I really should have used like an eyeshadow base for this portion like a white color so that way the color would really like pop you know like pop. that's why I said Milani eyeshadow primer is really not for coloring or making the color stand out it's just to adhere so yes make sure you use like something to brighten it up like a white now this is my favorite now you girls know i cannot do no eyeliner okay but this milani stay put matte liquid eyeliner the brush on it is like bomb.com it's not even like a brush like a, a brush made of hair it's like some sponge tip pointy brush like omg if you cannot do eyeliner for nothing in the world this will help you like on some realness this is like the best it did not take me like in no time to put my eyeliner on. Perfect all the time. You see, I was so happy. Yes, yes. But you know, we all have our moments, and I just had a moment where I was like, okay, so you see. Nothing is perfect, right? Nothing is perfect. My left eye always comes out like on its own sometimes it just never wants to cooperate but with this eyeliner it cooperates like it works well so I know this is more or less like a cheap drugstore kind of like brand makeup tutorial but okay first of all there is a splurge item and that's this which is the Too Faced size cream mascara I swear by this stuff I love this mascara your eyelashes will look absolutely amazing and the absolute New York facial primer flawless is really great I do like this. Hey! 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 Yeah, in the video camera. Look, look, look. No, look, look, look. <laughs> no, we're doing that, Chubby. I don't get kisses. You get kisses on camera. No, you get kisses on camera. You show them how much you love me. So yes, my little tinky man, my little tinky man. So of course I'm going to try the Skin Tote Evener BB Creams by Iman. They sent me two colors um, and I'm going to be really honest with you and tell you I'm not really a huge fan of them. They're supposed to be Skin Tone Evener, Eveners, Eveneners, oh my god, tongue twister. Um, but as you can see, it kind of looks red on me. It really didn't work out. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and place my Sasha Cosmetics Camouflage Cream Foundation over top of it because the BB cream really doesn't give full coverage, of course. And I wanted some full coverage. Like I want to look like I got a cake face, baby. So I'm going to take this brush right here, which I love, you know, the fake artist brush or what do you call that brush again? Whatever, I'm going to use it and I'm going to smear in that makeup all over my face. Now, I do like that brush a lot, but yes, to highlight, I'm going to be using my LA Girls Pro Concealer Pure Beige. I love this stuff now. At first, I was not a huge fan of it. Let's be honest. I don't think everybody was a huge fan of this stuff, okay? But I have grown to love it. 
and I'm just going to do some type of designs and paint my face up look like I'm kind of like a warrior ready to take off and I'm gonna allow it to dry for a minute before I start pouncing that sponge into my face I love this sponge if you guys are looking for a really great sponge beauty blender make sure you check out real techniques y'all this is the only one that I will use I have been using this one for a year not this particular sponge in my hand like I have purchased new ones but this is the only brand that I have used for the past year and I absolutely love it now to go into some more highlight I'm using my Jordana complete coverage this is a two-in-one concealer and foundation and of course if you know who Jordana is it is sister company to Milani which is a cheaper version I like to put this on my skin as well this is classic beige and it is a little bit lighter than the pure beige by LA girl but it's not as thick like it doesn't stay on as long so you do need like something underneath it because it kind of seems like it seeps into your skin to me so I'm just going to let that dry in and while I'm doing that I'm going to place my contour which is the NYX go to palette with my little fake um, real technique brushes I love these brushes I don't really care if they're fake or not they work and they serve a purpose so you know work 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 I'm telling you girls OMG this is like the best brush ever okay and if you haven't seen the video for the brushes make sure you do I will post the link for you guys down below just contouring my nose chiseling out my nose a little bit there Now I'm going to pat that Georgiana concealer slash foundation in and it does work well along with another one so keep that in mind um, but if you don't have another one and you just want to try this the best thing to do before patting it in allow it to sit on your face for like two minutes so that way it can thicken up and then it will work amazing so just a little bit more highlighting y'all with that NYX go-to palette and my Real Techniques fake brushes. Now onto this Hyaluronic Hydra Setting Powder by Terry. This stuff ranges for $60 and of course I did get it from Octoly. Let me tell you guys, everybody has been raving about this stuff like, oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, you can't see it. It's not no color. Oh my god, yas, yas, yas. Oh my god, no, no, no. Okay, this was like the worst stuff ever. It left such a white, chalky powder look on my face. You see that after I blend it in, do you see my face? Like, do you guys see that? I look white and ashy, and it's really not that great for $60. I'm going to be honest um, and give my honest opinions. It's really not worth the hype. I really would not suggest purchasing this. People say there's no color to it, but as you can see, I have white streaks on my face still. So it kind of like ruined my makeup and I wasn't too happy about that. So I do like the By Terry Rose Water, but as for the setting powder, this no color setting powder, it's really not a great powder. I don't like the fact that it has a fragrance and yeah, it's really not my favorite. So onto my lashes, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Super Curler Mascara. And this is really inexpensive, of course you can get this from any drugstore. And I'm going to do my um, bottom lashes with that. And as you guys seen, I did use my NYX Go To palette for my bottom line. Now to try to fix up that makeup, I'm going to be using my Iman Illuminous Pressed Facial Powder. The same one that I used on my eyelids, I'm going to be using that along with the new Iman Bronzer which is Afterglow. Thank goodness for this because it did kind of like spruce up that whiteness that was left behind from the By Terry. Not my favorite at all. But I do like this by Iman. The colors are really pretty in it. It has three colors. You can contour, you can blush it out. And like I'm going to do now, I'm going to be using their blush in Sunset Copper. And of course, I'm going to be using one of those Real Technique Fake Brushes. Yes. And because of the actual by Terry, it kind of ruined my makeup. As you know, I did place it there. And for some reason, my highlight would not adhere to where it was. You see, it adhered to the nose area, but as for the face, it did not at all. And I was so upset about that. So I just kind of left it alone. But normally, this highlight is like on fleek all the time for it to be NYX. But yeah, the By Terry was a bad mistake. 
So to plump up my lips, okay, so another splurge. I do have the Too Faced Extreme Lip Injection. And I'm going to be putting that on. And then I'm going to be putting on some Iman Lip Liner in the color Cocoa, which is a gorgeous brown fall color. It matches my eyes so well. You know, rub those lips together and give these lipsticks a try. So this is the Iman Nude. And I do like this color a lot. Even though it's not a matte, it's a really pretty color. And I love dull colors like this. I think this color is really gorgeous. Now the paprika is kind of like a rustic kind of color. And we're going to give it a try. I'm not going to tell you that it's my favorite because it's really not. So of course I'm going to blot it off. And I'm going to be using their shimmer gloss which is impetuous. And of course this kind of reminds me of the paprika. So it's really not going with the eye look today. So I'm just going to take that off and I'm going to reapply the nude back onto my lips which was the first lipstick by Iman that I tried on. So yes you guys always to set my face I like to use a setting spray so this is by Hard Candy and this is the Fast and Fabulous and it is amazing you can get this from any drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for staying too and make sure you check the description box. As always stay diva and divalicious.